Hello everyone, today I'm here for CC Design and it's preview day one. And this cute set is the Winter Snow. And I'll be using those two little snowmen. They're so cute. There's no die, that or I didn't get the dies. It might have some. And I will be using one of the Lawn Fonts new background dies with it super fun so four and a half by five and three fourth is my card base we'll put a little strip to match the outer paper of my card just to dress it up a little so here goes and trim that little piece off so there and I will put the first panel down leaving a little white border all around it's a smaller release there is another preview day tomorrow and then we're doing our hop on Friday so here I'm just gonna put that I did have to trim it because I guess I left one side of it a little a uh, little thicker so I did trim that part off and I'm just taking the letters out so I can glue that section to my other color of my paper. I will speed this up a little. And another one that would be fun for a shaker card if you like doing shakers. I love backgrounds with the big words and stuff. I find it, it helps fill up the space and yeah, it's just fun. So here, I'm just finishing, putting some glue. And I cut my paper with the snowflakes the same size so there's nothing sticking out. And just making sure it's like nice and glued down. And I will pop that layer up a little, give it some dimension. And there, we'll just add that to the card base leaving a little bit of the polka dots seen through and we'll glue all the letters in and this takes a little time and i do leave most of it just cut some of it off here and there but most of it's going to be there i did want the same pattern paper as i did for the the letters but I didn't have another piece of that paper I even went in my store and I didn't have that paper another set from doodlebug sorry I didn't show my papers this time so I have half of my video for the hop done as I do this part <clears throat> and after that I will be getting to my rest of my um, re reveal reveal of my tour of my craft room so yes I've been trying to get there just been busy with all the different uh, releases for different teams so I'll get there so here I'm just putting the O and then I have the other section of the white part of it. Yes. There, I got all the letters and now I'm going to start with the cute little one with the big hat. So I'm going to trim the hat. See this one, how the hat's really short? The only reason is, love the big hat, don't get me wrong, but for my card, if I wanted to use two of them, I couldn't go with the big one. It just would hide too much of the letters on my card. So that's what I did. And to take those little uh, black lines I just use my gel pen 
So then it looks like it's supposed to be that way. So here I'm starting with the carrot, the YR16 and 18. And I will be coloring both of the images on this video. So it's a little longer. Um, here I got the E43 and 44 for the little broom. And for the other little um, snowman, it'll be the same thing. The little broom's gonna be the same color and stuff. So here is the color I used for the snowman. So I made him a little bluish. Just went a little different this time. And sorry, I skipped the part that I had traced the whole image. All I did was trace it lightly. And now I'm using my Gamsol and my nib to blend. It just, I was off camera most of the time. So that's why I cut that off. So, and I think I did it for the other one too. So I'm sorry if <laughs> I missed out on that. So here is the color for the carrot. And the pink for the little cheeks. He's outside. He's having a, a, a great time and he needs like ro rosy cheeks. So here I have the YG25 and the 17. So YG17 is the darker shade. There, I put the cap on there. just finishing that off and the B24 for the blue and like I said a few times I'm off camera this time I think it's just because my camera was like further away have to make sure not to do that again because yeah and here I've got the C4 and I do change it up after I got the C7. I tried to finish with the C4 and it was kind of sticky. So I had to go with the C5. So I didn't show that, I don't think. And then I go with the C3. And I have to bring in the C5 again because it's really pulling that dark shade. there so I got this c7 for the or maybe that was c5 sorry for the buttons the coals on his belly and I'm doing the same color as the hat for a little scarf and I pulled the colors from the paper the little polka dot paper from doodle bug that's what I'm going with and here is a different kind of pencil. Here's the green. I finally put my tree up. I did it. Yes, I did it. I, well, my daughter was off and she usually finishes my tree for me and uh, she called me over and she said, okay, mom, your tree has no lights. I had maybe a little strip of lights left on the bottom. That was it. It was like, oh, can't use that. So here we go with the next one. So the same thing as I said oh I think what I happened here sorry is I forgot to press play on this one that's what it happened there but anyways the same thing you just trace it with that the same color I used for the first one for the the body so yeah going back to my tree so I had to go and take my mom's tree because I had no way of getting another one till the weekend and it's already well today I'm doing the video it's the 6th of December so I wouldn't be able to go till the weekend and yeah 
So my sister just told me to just go grab it. And so that's what I did. So love it. It turned out pretty. But yeah, it's kind of bittersweet. That's all. So here is the blue. So like I said, every color I use for the other one, I'm going to use it on this one. I'm going to bring in some purple on this one though. I will bring one extra color. So that was the B24. Uh, and that's the 26, a little darker shade. So yes, I got all my house decorated yesterday, so I was a little sore. I was. So you might see that a little bit on my next video for uh, the tour of my craft room. Because I did change up my living room too. It used to be different, so I may sneak a little of that. I'm almost done with that color. I do one pom-pom that blue and then the other pom-pom purple and one green just to put all the colors together. Here I got the broom color, the same color as I said for the first one. So the E44 and 43. And just blend those two together. So I'm kind of rushing and doing my voiceover because I'm scared my dad's going to pop in. You never know when my dad's going to pop in and say, you know, oh, <laughs> let's watch TV together. Yeah. So here I'm going to do his hat green. So the same colors as the 20, uh, YG25 and the 17. And like I said, one of the pom poms going to be green too. We'll bring some more pencils at the end. And here's the purple. So V15 and V17. On the paper, it's not directly a purple. It kind of looks like a grayish, but in a tone of gray, uh, purple. So that's why I went purple, just to make it kind of look more purple. On the little dots on the back of that paper. Just thought it'd be fun. We want our little snowman to be fun. It was Christmas here today. I'm telling you. I got a new release from my Jada Blossom. I got my KK sent me a present. OMG like that was like she spoiled me and then one of my daughter's gift for me for Christmas came in I don't know she didn't show she didn't want to show me <laughs> so it's gonna be a little surprise so yeah I thought well it's like Christmas today so I'm doing the um the mittens also in purple I kind of wish I went green instead that's the only thing I would try a switch is the mittens I think would have been cuter in green. But I didn't do a markup. I usually have um, another one colored and then I start coloring one on the video. Just wanted to skip that this time and just go and color them right on the video. And that's why I like doing them beforehand. So then whatever doesn't work, then you know what to do on the video, right? So that's one thing I would change is the purple mittens. I would do a green. I think it would have been nicer. So yeah, I'm just blending those pencils now. And here I'm bringing a little bit of gray on the hat. Because I'll leave that white. And I have to do two coats because I didn't put enough. Sometimes I'm just too gentle. And just don't, you know, you don't want it too dark and you're kind of iffy about it there. But yeah, it all works out. And here I just put a little bit of gel pen. 
just to do some little highlights a little bit on the eyes in there super cute so I'm gonna show you both of them closer up and there's the little dude like I say I like him better with the big hat but it just shows you that you can do them smaller if you have a smaller spot like me on your card see he fits just so perfect like that though cute so I'm just gonna pop this one also we'll definitely have to play with the other one that's on this set he's so sweet also I'm a snowman freak I love snowman anything snowman or penguins that's that's my thing so there how fun is that so I'm gonna bring some glossy accent I'm gonna put that on their little nose just to make them shiny so now I have to be careful touch the little nose for a bit so yes there is my card keep it simple not gonna put bling or anything or did I after I'm not sure if I did so there is this the cute stamp set and the background die that I use from Lawn Fonts. So will be available on Friday. So hope you liked it and I'll see you soon. Bye.